Good afternoon. So you're here with us today, um, Mung Chat Radio or MCU Chiang Mai Campus Radio, and you are here uh, with me, Mung Bun Ma and Mr. John. So, um, John, thank you so much for coming. I'm very glad to have you today. So today, myself and John are going to talk about freedom. So before we are going to talk about that one, so let's hear something interesting from John. So John, he is a volunteer. Now he is teaching English at Mung uh, at Mung Chado University. And today I just um, have a chance um, to meet him, and then I invited him to come and um, join me here speaking. Uh, to you guys. So, John, could you tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and then what do you do besides being a volunteer? Well, thank you for inviting me here to this afternoon. Um, I'm John Rauhud, and I do volunteer work at uh, Mahamakut Buddhist University here in Chiang Mai. Um, I uh, help in the English classes. Mm -hmm. And I also facilitate um, uh, conversations at uh, Mung Chat mm -hmm. at Wat Chedi Luang B, because sometimes the, the tourists come from uh, countries where the accent in English is difficult to understand, and I help the students to make the to bridge the gap mm -hmm. uh, so that they can understand the tourist and the tourist can understand the monk. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Thank you so much for doing that. And you come every year, right? I have come for four years. Four years. Yes. And then it will be more in every year. <laughs> 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 so today is quite a hot day, a hot day. Maybe we're going to talk about hot thing mm. too. <laughs> so... Do you think that is important for people to be volunteers? I think it is very important. Um, a student who is learning a language mm -hmm. that is uh, so different from their own uh, does need a little bit of coaching. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they feel frustrated when they don't understand something and a, a volunteer can make the whole experience of learning mm -hmm. uh, another language so much easier. Great, great. Yes, my I agree. Yes, my experience in teaching English in America uh, with high school students who come from a rural area oh. uh, has uh, greatly helped me here mm -hmm. because they were very shy um they were uncertain, um, and yet English was their <laughs> their own language. But uh, the the kind of student yeah. that we have here in this area is quite similar. Mm -hmm. So that is very important. I think uh, once if I'm if I if I'm good at it, uh, or when I am good at it, I will try to help people yeah. too. But uh, now, maybe try to help myself first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's an important uh, thought, um, that we have to help ourselves so that we can help others. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Because if we, we are not good enough or we don't, we just only know a little bit and then we try to help other people, maybe we can make so much mistakes, many that's mistakes, and then people will get something wrong because of us too. So we need to improve or help ourselves. That's true. Um, in English, there are a number of words that have uh, the same spelling but mm -hmm. very different meanings. Oh. And a student can get these very confused. Mm -hmm. um, so, right. So, John, according to our um, radio program, it bases on a Buddhist university. Mm -hmm. And today I'd like to talk uh, with you, or, or I want you to discuss this word, 
with me. So this word is freedom. <laughs> okay. This word is freedom. So could you please tell us a little bit about the、um, definition about it a little bit? Okay. First of all, I'd like to say that there are two words in English、mm-hmm. uh, that need to be explained.、Mm-hmm. One is license, and the other is freedom.、Mm-hmm. License means to do whatever I want to,、oh. whatever I feel like doing.、Mm-hmm. But freedom doesn't mean that. Uh, freedom. Uh, I do not have the freedom to punch you in the nose. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, freedom involves responsibility. Yes. Yes. And and so、um, I think of of freedom as、uh, as the opportunity to do something、uh, good.、Mm-hmm. So I have never never heard the word. License. Okay. Then I was thinking about freedom. Freedom. We sh- we should have freedom, but in the good way.、That's、I、right. mean, some people say, "I need a freedom." So freedom. What do you mean? You 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 need that. You can hurt other people easily without <laughs> <laughs> without a shame or something. But you have another word that is、um, license. 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 Yes. So and then it it becomes easier than what I was thinking, because in our country,、uh, in our languages,、um, no, oh no, I said this because I I speak Lao and then Thai in my native language because I'm from Laos. So we we use the word freedom, and it could mean freedom of doing things or do whatever you want. Just like I said, I can punch you. I can I can steal things. I can do many many things without、um, I mean without anybody that comes and、mm-hmm. stop me. Is it?、Mm-hmm. I need freedom. So that freedom is that freedom is wrong.、Mm-hmm. So that's wrong according to our languages. So it's about that one. So freedom for the general people or for everyone in this world right now. We need. Freedom of financial, financial. Okay, financial freedom. Yeah, financial freedom. Uh, politic, political freedom. Uh, uh, political、cool. fi- freedom. <laughs> Could you please repeat it? Political freedom. Ah,、oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And what is another one? Um, financial po-、uh, freedom, political freedom, and another freedom maybe. I can get that word after <laughs> after word, and I just forgot it. So those things are the basics need. So, well, in my country, we talk about the four freedoms:、mm-hmm. um, freedom from fear. Ah,、oh, yes. yes.、Um, freedom from want. Ah,、oh, want.、Um, uh, freedom of worship and freedom of speech. Oh, that that is.、Um, Physical, spiritual belief, <laughs> and and it is economic too because、yes. um, uh, I think people need to have the the freedom not to be、uh, desperately poor. That they don't people need to have enough food and enough clothing for themselves.、Mm-hmm. So that is one of the freedoms. So we need those things a lot. And about Buddhism, I think, and my idea, I'm sorry if I I make some mistakes. So freedom from suffering, be free from suffering. That's right. So it doesn't mean that we should not have any、um, suffering, because our lives we cannot stay without suffering. Right. According to the word sufferings from the first of four noble truths. That means、um, suffering. I mean,、uh, was born or born, old old age or aging, death or dying, achieve what we wished for, or not achieve, be satisfied with what we have or not, and happy happiness, sadness, painful, pleasant,、mm-hmm. unpleasant, and lost people who we love. Those things we call suffering. So, because of they are, 
impermanence. So right. they change, they keep changing. So when we were born after that, we are growing old. So the time of growing old is changing. So that is impermanence. If impermanent, that is suffering. So we still be in the, uh, we, we still be under, under the natural suffering, natural suffering. Mm -hmm. And then that would be, um, the, um, access, no, I mean, the, how bodies or forms or feeling they, they're working. So those things are, are suffering. But we need another freedom that is, um, we need to, to let those things be, but don't let them be. So I mean, once we have mind and we have mind to see those, um, action. Like if I know my body is growing old, this is suffering. Mm -hmm. So I should not argue with it. I should accept it. I should be okay with it. But in the other hand, I should not let it be just like that. I should mm -hmm. realize and I should not let my thoughts or my attachment or my wants to control or to to dominate my mind from from those things by following those things. Mm -hmm. It's just like let those things be, but we don't let our minds be with those things. Because sometimes if we let our minds be with those things, it means they are controlling our lives. That's lives true. Our mind. So that is another freedom. Actually, I've been thinking for a long time about this one, and I had very, very long ideas, a long discussion about this one. But now, when I start to speak or to talk about this one, it's just like everything is gone. <laughs> 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 so, do you have uh, the other ideas about that one? Well, I think um, freedom is an ideal state of mind. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's, as you say, that uh, it it moves us from um, uh, uh, dwelling on our suffering yes. uh, to to this um, to a place where we are not concerned about it. Mm -hmm. so that's great. So people uh, this time or nowadays they just want like I need to um, get retired when I'm young, <laughs> maybe at 40 years old, <laughs> 30 or 50, because I need to have a free time. I, I need to have some money, I need to have house, I need to have car and then get some children and stay with my family at home. I don't need to go to work, I don't need to do things much. Just spend lifetime with family, parents or just take time traveling around the city or the country or the world. Mm -hmm. So that one is great. It's a good idea too. But I certainly enjoy being retired uh -huh. because I can do things that I mm -hmm. couldn't do um, mm -hmm. while I was working. Mm -hmm. And I can use the skills that I learned <coughs> while I was working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, after we, we, we got those things that we need, and then I think sometimes we don't need just being a retired person right. and then do nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is freedom, but still not a freedom. Right. Because sometimes people, when we don't have anything to do, and we get stressed mm -hmm. <laughs> and sad, mm -hmm. trying to find something to fulfill our feelings. So some people read, some people do meditation, some people go to travel a lot, so many go to to many places. And then sometimes people find happiness from traveling, but sometimes not. Well, happiness comes from inside. Yes, yes, that is <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the uh, 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 traveling or um, volunteering, so on, those are just... Uh, auxiliary 
Mm. Your happiness comes from inside. You, you yes. cannot get happiness from something else. And it, it actually comes from your um, satisfaction. I mean, sometimes, um, for example, if I come here, so for example, I like to drink cold water, mm. but when I come here, and then there's no cold water. And I drink normal water or warm water, and then I feel not very good. I'm not really happy. So that one, maybe it is because of I'm not satisfied with this water. If I accept it, like there's no water, uh, no cold water here, and I cannot get it. And when I drink, I just drink to survive, <laughs> <laughs> not drink. For happiness. <laughs> so when when our mind accepts things like that, and then we are sat satisfied with those things, and then we'll be happy or we'll be free from stressful. Yes. So I I mentioned about uh, traveling because I I have met so many people that they said, oh I really like to travel, and I'm very happy to travel. But when they say that, it doesn't mean that they are very, uh, they are happy with every places that they have gone or they have been with mm -hmm. the places that they have been. They complain like, "No, oh, I I went there, but <laughs> that was not very good. That <laughs> place was was so bad. It was horrible." And then I went to that place. It was cool. I like that one more than that. <laughs> so it means you're not happy. Yes. Well. There are many aspects to travel yes. that are are not happy. <laughs> yeah. I, I think of um, the the lines at the airport, mm -hmm. um, or the, um, the 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 bumpy ride to Chiang Rai mm. <laughs> <laughs> on the bus. It, it's uh, there are many things about travel that mm. uh, can can bother us. But the th the thing is that uh, the happiness comes inside, and mm. and those things don't matter. Yeah, just only the objects or something that can can connect with our insight, uh, our mind. Mm -hmm. And but it's still good. Traveling is very good. So we learn lots of things from traveling, by traveling to different places, different countries, different things um, to see, to experience. But. Um, some people just think like, I do that for happiness, not for experiences. But still, people remind, uh, realize like, oh, I just only see this. I've never seen that before. That is mm -hmm. experience too. But by the way, um, that one is still be their own freedom. So we we could support them to do that, and we could not support them to do that because every one of us. It's different, and we have our own choices to to do and to follow. But today we talked about freedom because of, I think sometimes people need uh, good jobs, people need to have enough money to survive, but they just don't want to be under control of the bosses and the companies. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's a responsibility of, of people who are in um, a management mm -hmm. um, to respect their employees. Yes. Um, respect goes two ways. Um, mm -hmm. We respect those who are above us, but we also need to respect people, people who are uh, in a lower mm -hmm. situation than we are. Yes. They just work in the low place. It doesn't mean that they are lower than us. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> yeah. And and companies grow because of those people. That's right. If there's no them, it will not grow. That's true. So actually, I mean, we need to respect each other more and respect to get things uh, less, uh, get things from them less, but give more love and respectful to to them. So when people feel happy to be with you, when people 
feel okay or feel safe when they are surrounded by you mm-hmm. or staying around you, they would probably work for you very well and work by heart. <laughs> yes. So, mm-hmm. uh, one of the things people are told in my country about um, being a manager is that they must know the name of the the janitor. What is that, please? <laughs> well, the the person who cleans. Oh yes, <laughs> I I agree. That is what I I have been thinking for a long time, many years, mm-hmm. especially when I I sweep or I clean around the temple in the morning. So I clean my temple every morning from four thirty to five. Mm-hmm. Every time I I sweep, I think like. This is clean because of us. So every floor, every building, every building, every toilet, Mm -hmm. toilet are cleaned because of those people. That's right. I mean, if you are a doctor, medical doctor, Mm -hmm. you love your health very much. You need to be, you need to stay in the clean place. But how about if you don't have those people to clean for you so what happens so they are very important so don't look down at at those people and I I really um, happy I mean um, I really happy and I want to support those people not to feel bad or to feel upset if they are working at that place because those people, they get very good um, philosophy and very good ideas while mm-hmm. they are cleaning. Oh, yes. So I get very good ideas and philosophy or teachings when I clean mm-hmm. every time and when I take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think we should take notes or we should bring notebook with us. I mean, note with us when we do, when we, we take shower. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I may, I should not talk about this, but this is a good idea because I always get the ideas while doing those things. Mm-hmm. And then, um, when I met a, a girl, um, from somewhere else, maybe Spain or, or England, she said she worked, um, in the big company and she cleaned the building. And so many people looked at her like she is um, low, and uh, she works in the low place. And I told her like, "What um, uh, do do you know? What this is the great time for you." And then those people they cannot do as what you do. So you can do this and more than this. When you get um, another, uh, when you have opportunity to to work uh, to get the job that is more than this and then you can do it too when there's no any jobs for you you can work at this place uh, or work on this job for the people that they have never done this before if they are fired and then they cannot work as you and every time when you clean when people look at you that this is a low job but you are happy I asked her, were you happy while doing that? And she said, yes. I, I will tell you. I said, I will tell you why. Because every time when you clean, you get good ideas in your head. So that would be not negative thought or thinking. Right. So this is why it keeps people, those people working on that job. Yes. Uh-huh. yes. Positive ideas often come to us when we are doing physical things. Oh, ah, yeah. Like cleaning. Mm-hmm. So I, I also told my, my friends that they came to me and then they asked me, like, um, I always, always stress not happy in life. And I don't know what to do. I said, if you really cannot do meditation, you're really lazy to do exercise, just clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get uh, cleaning done, you'll feel we we will feel so impressed <laughs> and so happy. Like 
wow, I get things done and feel so good. So that is one of the techniques. So for the people who are listening to us right now, if you finish job, I mean, if you come back to your home or to your house and you don't know what to do and it's not time for you to go for running and if it is not time for you to go to play football or to play sports and then make sure you 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 clean your room and <laughs> your bedroom or your room for your wife and your children so that isn't that is one of the parts that we really want to talk to you today and I believe we still have some more important things um, from the word freedom and something else that could come from John's experiences when he was young or when he was working. And then now I think we need to take a break for a while and then we will come back to see you really soon. All right, welcome back, everyone. So... Hello, John. Hello. Hi, Ken. So now, this is the second part. I would like to conclude the word freedom, and then we will talk about the n- the, the next thing, uh, the new thing. So, um, according to Buddhism, we need to be free from suffering, or and so that is important. And the word freedom for me today, I would t- I would like to tell you that. Um, now we really need to uh, let our mind be free from hatred, delusion, and greed. So we still need to work, we still need to um, be with our people, we still need to get things done, but we don't need to be greed and we don't need to be uh, bad people because of if we do if we be like that or if we be those things and we have those things in our lives it would be very hard to find uh, happiness in our life so that is one of the uh, main things that is important for everyone Uh, I mean for everyone not just only today it's forever so trying to be uh, trying to make your mind be free from hatred greed delusion, anger, or more desire about the things that your life doesn't really want. So that is um, the meaning for, or uh, that is the conclusion for the word freedom today. And now I would go to the next step that is very important, and it is about successful again. I always talk about this one because of I really like um, to listen to motivation and I really want to motivate people to stay focused, to stay strong, to stay healthy and have a good family, have good life. So, but I don't really have that ability to make people happy. I don't have any ability to make people have good life. And then every time when I come up here, I always... um, take or bring guests with me to tell you or to share their ideas to you guys if I mean every one of us we have different lives we have different jobs we have different uh, ideas and we work in different places it sure that every one of us gets or got uh, different ideas and experiences now today we have um and on our uh, guests, he's John, the same person, <laughs> and he's going to talk about the job that he, he is impressed the most and that is uh, can help you to stay more energetic. So, John, could you please share about the one to everyone? Well, I think the, the job that you were uh, referring to is... Um, was an aspect of the job that I had as a teaching elder. And that was to uh, organize every year uh, groups of people to go to New York City mm-hmm. to um, to the United Nations Seminar. Um, we usually had about 35 people, and we were able to 
uh, ask people from the United Nations uh, organizations to come and talk to us about the problems of the world. And as we uh, talked about these different problems in other countries, we began to realize that there were problems in our own community that were similar. And because we could share these ideas uh, together and talk about them in New York, the, the local problems became more real to us. Um, one of the things that came out of this was um, uh, care for children mm -hmm. and uh, their safety in our communities. Mm -hmm. um, and we implemented a program uh, we called Safe Sanctuaries, mm -hmm. um, which meant that um, uh, uh, children would be protected in our communities uh, by having adults that were um, not related to each other mm -hmm. um, to care for children. Um, mm -hmm. an, an adult was not allowed to be alone mm -hmm. with the child. Um, that our doors uh, had to have a window in them mm -hmm. uh, or they had to be open partway mm -hmm. when adults were working with children. Mm -hmm. um, and the whole idea was uh, the protection of, of children uh, in our communities. And this mm -hmm. was just one of the, the ideas that we, we uh, gathered from the uh, meetings in New York with people from the United Nations. Mm -hmm. So that, that is great. So that, w that is one of the, the jobs that you, you were very, very happy and you were proud for yourself, of yourself that you were doing that because it was about helping adults and helping people. So this is very important for everyone and we really need to take care of, of each other. And to have those things, sometimes we need to have some things. I mean, in the countryside, we don't really need money because we, mm -hmm. we can grow or people can grow fruits, vegetables for themselves. When they don't have anything, they just go to each houses and ask ask each other, "Can I share this and then get that um, from you?" So that is one way of helping each other. But as the world that is growing up and growing fast right now, and nowadays it's about the technology world or information world, and then we, every one of us, needs. I need to get success successful in life. So what is uh, what does word successful mean to you? Well, I can tell you two things it does not mean. Um, mm -hmm. Success is not about money, it's not about recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, I think um, the Buddha's teaching about finding the middle way yeah. is um, the, the path to success. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is really true. In Buddhism, we talk about middle way, middle path. And in this way, or in general, or in normal uh, ideas of teaching, we sh when we talk about um, do things regularly and going to the way that is um, in the middle or balance, that would, um, I mean, if you are happy to do that, you're happy doing that one, it means you are success. Mm -hmm. So because uh, you don't expect to get money, but money is important too. I mentioned earlier about money because this world is needed. Uh, but sometimes in the way that to find successful, it doesn't mean to have a lot of money, to, to get more money. No, and we should not compare ourselves to, to others. others. Yeah, that's a very uh. great idea. So in Buddhism, in its fourth path, the middle way, there are right effort, right livelihood. And there are eight, but I want to talk about the one to right livelihood and right effort. So um, if we talk about that one, right livelihood, 
So the world right now, people can do any anything that they can make money,、mm-hmm. and any anything that they think it is easy but get much paid. So the one we can call、um, imbalance, unbalance, or imbalance,、um, and not well, balance. It can be.、Um, and I think you're talking about an unbalanced life. Yes, unbalanced, unbalanced life. life.、Mm-hmm. So, in Buddhism, we have right livelihood. I would not tell you exactly from the Buddha、uh, words from the Buddha, but we should work. We should do the jobs or the things that it doesn't illegal、mm-hmm. to to or from the country、mm-hmm. and then to the society. And do things that people unhappy, but you are happy for yourself. I mean, I steal your things and then sell it for me, for myself, for myself. At this point, this is、um, not right. So this is wrong livelihood, living life, feeding on life by harming other. Living beings, other lives. So Buddha also also mentioned about this one: don't live your life by, or don't feed your life by harming other people or other living beings. So that is why we we have、um, <laughs> basic principles or, or precepts. First one is abstaining from killing or harming other living beings, and This is important. I mean, life and time. So, this nowadays again, people are struggling to the the word successful. People are struggling to the things that the world perform or the world shows that this is important. You should have this is fancy、mm-hmm. one. You should get. But the real one is. Um, I mean, deep inside, every one of us need happiness and peaceful mind.、Mm-hmm. And when should we do that? And when should we start doing it? <laughs> well, I, I think I think it is becoming more difficult because、uh, of the advertising that we see in when we go to the mall.、Mm-hmm. Um, when、um, In our world, there,、uh, television、uh, emphasizes so many things、yes. that that we don't have and we don't need,、uh-huh. um, and it's easy to be led along by these、um, uh, impositions on our our daily life. So, thank you, John, for coming today. I think we are running out of time right now. So. So I would like to tell everyone that our life is limited. Our time is limited. Try or start to do things from today. So help yourself, help people around you, and help society. I, am, I appreciate your time so much, John. And then thank you to our audience for listening or for being with us、uh, from four until five. So we're going to say goodbye to you all, and then. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you, John.